Hey Budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to be rearranging our cash budget system. Surprise, surprise. If you have been around here, you guys know I love to switch around my binders as soon as I feel like it and as soon as I think it makes sense. So we are at a point where I think it would be fun to rearrange the binders. I also just launched yesterday, if you guys haven't seen these, this is the new month ahead binder inserts. So for $9.99, you get all of these front and back trackers and this tracker lock. So we're gonna be talking about this in this video. This is the main thing that we are switching around. Instead of using our bills tracker, if I can find it, we will be changing some of these categories out and rearranging and starting these month ahead trackers for these different categories. So I'm very excited to get into it. I hope that you guys have had an amazing week. I have had a great week. It is cold here. I'm absolutely freezing because we just finished a soccer game. But other than currently being cold, I feel like it's been a great week. Before we take things out of these binders and shift some things around, let's go ahead and take this out because with this set, I really want to use my red binder. I think it's going to be really cute. So we need to take stuff out of this binder. This, I had the intention of using this binder as, as a business budget. I still might do that at some point. I just never got the momentum behind doing that because when I need something for the business, I tend to just spend the money on it. I don't put the money in the binder first, but we will see if I end up needing to come back to something like this. But I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys had something fun going on this week or you have something fun going on this weekend. And now that I, I have film lights and now that I'm here filming, I might actually have to go turn off that heater because it is getting so toasty so quick. Thank goodness. Those have been sitting for so long. I ended up needing to pull them and to go just wipe them off really quick. They look good now. So let's see. Oh, I only cleaned four of them. I'm going to need a couple more. Maybe in the shuffle around, we will get the two more that we need. But anyway, I'm very excited. If I haven't mentioned it yet, everything you see in my videos is going to be from my Etsy shop. You can go to jordanbudgets.com or go to Jordan Budgets on Etsy. You'll be able to find everything you see in this video. I've been thinking about launches, guys. How would you guys like me to approach launches? I don't know if I want to try to do a launch every single week on Etsy as I'm trying to launch new things more frequently frequently on Etsy or if I should launch like several things all at once. I feel like launching several things all at once might be better for everybody but I also don't know if that would be overwhelming. Our, we're gonna go ahead and put those back there and pull this and I'm gonna shuffle around some money and we're gonna chat about the budget in just a second. I wanted to go ahead and get this sort of set up though. Okay, so the idea of this one month ahead set with the tracker is that all of the categories that you need that you could really want to get a month ahead on, they're all here. So the idea is you have this tracker set, so as you add and take away money, you can keep track of it here. It's front and back, this comes with the set. And then you also have six labels to categorize out your monthly expenses. So how I'm going to use this, I'm not currently a month ahead on all of these categories. So we're gonna be using it, but also trying to save to get a month ahead. So for housing, that's like for my rent, for you it could be for your mortgage. We'll talk in just a second about how to use the back if you haven't seen me use these before. Monthly bills, that's gonna be like your electric, your heat, your gas bill if you have one, water bill, those kinds of monthly bills. Weekly expenses is going to be saving for like your gas, for your car, your groceries, your eating out, your maybe some fun money, any kind of weekly money that you want to get ahead on, something that you spend on every single week. Healthcare, this is a new category for me to try to prioritize, but this might be you saving for co-pays. It might be the monthly expense to keep your healthcare. It might be something upcoming that you want to plan for, or maybe you just wanna create a little bit of a cushion so that you are ready if there's a healthcare emergency or need. And again, we'll talk about how to track it in just a second. Other, this for me is going to be where I save money for my car note every single month. I left it as other because if you don't have a car note, I didn't want this to be a wasted tab. You might have something that you can use other for it that is specific to your exact needs. And then finally, there is a blank label, same as other. Just wanted you to have some free will on this one. For me, this is going to be saving for homeschooling expenses that come around every single month. So that's what I'm gonna use this blank one for and we'll write on that in just a second. So before we shift over to this, I want to talk about what we are taking out, what we're doing 
with our current binders. So we have our bills money out. This is our car money. I took the label from it, but we're gonna shift it that way just for now. School is also going to be put into our new binder, so we're gonna put that there. I think what we're gonna do here is we are going to move some of these leftover categories over here. So let's just go ahead and move over the car insurance because I don't pay car insurance monthly. My hope is to have enough money to pay it in February for the next six months. We'll see how that goes, but we're gonna move this over so that will not be a monthly expense. It will be something that comes around sort of randomly. Variable spending, that is our weekly money that we're trying to get ahead on. Haircuts for the boys, that's also a sinking fund. So we're going to keep it here in this binder. Medical, we do have a new little section for that. So we're gonna move that. Extra car payment, we'll keep saving towards that and put that in our new savings challenge binder. So our savings challenge binder now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine categories. We have nine categories here, which I feel really comfortable about. We're also not shifting around any of this money. We're not gonna do anything with this binder. These are categories we will keep slowly saving for. This is stuff that does not come around every single month. It's just stuff we would like to save for to be ahead when those expenses do come up. So let's move over to our new binder. I'm not gonna fill out the tracker as we go this week, but I, after I shift around some money here, we will start using this at the start of February, and I'll show you guys how I'm going to use this. Basic rundown is at the end of January, I am gonna total out how much is left in the, each category, basically right that we added that amount, and then from then forward, I will track it as money goes in, so housing, if we start out with say $50 in here, I'm gonna write a positive $50 from January savings. And just this will help us easily keep track of what's going on in this binder without counting it every single time. We do count our money on this channel though. It's just, we just enjoy doing it. I'm going to pull all of this money and just sort of pull it together because let's chat about what is happening here. I am not ready for February. Typically I'm a month ahead on bills, but because I started trying to space everything out so much between the car note, between the boys' new schooling. Also, I did get a little behind. I had some basic like work debt at the start of the year. I don't know what else to call it except for work debt, but basically I, all of my printers stopped working all at once. And so I needed to buy new printers. I thought I was gonna have it completely sort of leveled out at the end of the year. I did not. So I've basically been behind the scenes playing catch up on paying off that credit card for some like quote work or Etsy needs that happened. Because of that, I have not been putting money into our month ahead so that we're ready for all of our bills for February. So what's gonna happen is I get paid from YouTube any day now and the majority of that check is gonna go straight towards my rent. That's $1,400. So we're not even gonna worry about housing right at this moment. Okay, before we talk about it though, let's count this and see what we're even working with because I have no idea. Basically all of the categories though that I took money from is categories that come around every single month. Like we took out our car note money that we plan on using for February's car note. We took out money that we put aside for housing or for bills. This is not sinking funds money that we just took out. This is all money that really we were planning on using for different monthly bills anyway. Now I did have some money saved and set aside for variable bills and variable spending because we were trying to get a month ahead on that. We really did not have the funds this month though to be setting aside that kind of money. So let's count this really quick, see where we're at and see how we can restuff it into our bills binder. And I'm also gonna talk about like how I'm marking off the back to track what I'm doing. 100, 250, 350, 450, 550, 600, 50, 700, 720, 40, 60, 80. Wait a second. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred and twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one thousand, one thousand, ten, twenty, thirty, 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 thirty,
1400 because that's how much my rent is. We are going to highlight this 400 and this 1410 dollars. That's the closest to what we need exactly. This is a little bit different than the vacation trackers that I previously launched because the vacation trackers you pretty much save for one trip and you're good. You can use it for a while, right? But because this is something that we are going to be adding money to constantly and taking money out of constantly, I'm basically going to show, tell you how I'm going to be marking it off so that I can reuse it for several months. Say we save 1260. I'm just going to put little marks next to each number up to this 1260 and then the next month I will highlight it and then the next month I'm going to cross it out. So I'm going to be able to get three months out of these trackers. I'll probably explain this again as I do it and as I use it. That's just how I'm going to be reusing it and using this to track. If that's confusing, I'm sorry. We'll talk about it as it goes through. Just know though that I am highlighting what my goal is. Ideally though, I'm going to be getting a couple of months ahead and I'll be able to use this tracker. Our first goal is just to be one full month ahead, meaning all of February, we're going to save for all of March's. Monthly bills, for me, that is about $400. That includes my gas, for the house, my electric for the house, my water for the house, that includes my internet bill and my boys new, like they have some phone watches. So we are going to just highlight this 400. Next goal is weekly expenses. My weekly expenses include gas, groceries, and eating out. My new goal for groceries is to spend about $600 per month. I spend a little over $100 for gas and then my goal is maybe $80 or so for eating out. So let's put our goal, like if we were able to get one month ahead on our weekly expense needs, we would need to have, what is that, six, seven, eight hundred if we want to be one month ahead on our weekly expenses. For healthcare, I am currently self-pay. I'm trying to figure this one out with all the energy and you know capacity that I have to figure out. Let's set a goal. This is gonna take us a while to get to you guys, but if we were quote, you know, like one month ahead on our healthcare, I would like to have $500. It's gonna take us a while to get there, but let's go ahead and set that goal. As we get there, of course, I would like to make that number a little bit higher. This tracker goes to 2000. I I guess I should mention that all of these trackers do have different total amounts. Let's backtrack house. The housing total goes up to 3000. Of course, if you need double any of these, you could just double the number that you see. Monthly bills goes up to 2000. Weekly expenses goes to 3000. Healthcare goes to 2000. Other goes to 2000 and then the blank one goes to 3000. I have it upside down, let's flip it. The blank one goes to 3000. So for other, we are gonna use this, the other as our car note. We need $400 for one month of our car note. So to be one month ahead, we need 400. Of course, again, these goals will shift and change. But for now, our goal for the car is $400 at the end of every month so that we are completely ready for the next month. And then our blank one, let's go ahead and write on this. That writing is terrible. We are just going to go with it. Homeschooling needs for the boys. I pay $350-ish. So we're just going to set the goal at $360. I pay that about every month for the co-op that they go to and just for like some fun money for us. So now that all this is filled out, let's chat about what I need right now to go in these categories. And we're not going to be doing tracking on the back because we are so close to the end of the month. We will start writing and tracking on the back of these at the start of February, just to make these trackers last a little bit longer and not be wasteful. Housing, we are gonna skip because again, the YouTube check is going to pay for all of our rent this month. So thank you if you watch me on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You paid my rent for this month. Monthly bills, our monthly bills goal is 400. So let's just go ahead and put 50, 150, 200, 50, 250 here in monthly bills to get us close since we are so close to the end of the month. Weekly expenses, let's go ahead and put 2468, 100, 2468, 200. Let's put 300. Let's go ahead and put 300 into weekly expenses because I know we did start out having a lot into this one because we're trying to get a month ahead. So weekly expenses has 300, we need 800. Healthcare, we're gonna leave that empty. This is something we can put as a priority next month. Right now, we're just gonna leave it though. Other, that is for the car note. Let's go ahead and put one. 50, 250, 300. $300 into the car note, we need 400. Homeschooling needs, we need 350. So let's go ahead and put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 
150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. That's 200 dollars into homeschooling. Okay, so everything got some money except for healthcare. We're gonna go ahead and just put $20 into healthcare. I don't have anything upcoming, I don't think. So I don't think I'm gonna need that money just yet. And everything else got a pretty good amount. I'm feeling better about this than when we first started, okay? <laughs> because I thought I was way behind on everything. It looks like we're kind of, we're close for everything. Let's add the fives and the ones to monthly bills. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So we are at 285 for our monthly bills and we need 400. That is not so bad. I'm feeling better now that we organized this binder and knowing that my YouTube check is gonna cover all of my rent in the next couple of days. So this binder will definitely be a staple in our cash stuffings moving forward. I am very excited about it. I love having everything sectioned out this way. And once we're a month ahead on everything, like even if it takes us until the middle of the year, but let's say like mid July, we have everything stuffed and it's the middle of the month we will move our goals to like a little bit further down to be over a month ahead and working into two months ahead on all of these things that come around every single month i think it's been really fun to be a month ahead on bills that's always been my thing being one month ahead just meaning like at the end of february you're ready for the next month and all of the bills that come in that next month i love doing that for our bills so like our housing and our monthly bills has really been the staple of what i'm doing on this channel but the idea of also doing that for weekly expenses and healthcare needs and like homeschooling and all of the other cat categories that come across every single month. The idea of being able to do it for all of that, I know it would feel amazing to be able to do that. So anyway, that is it for this cash stuffing, if you wanna call it that, this little rearrange, this reshuffle. These are our two binders moving forward. You guys know how it is though. Things will likely change around again, but for now, this makes me feel very motivated. So I'm excited. So that's it for today's video, guys. As always, I love you. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.